boys and girls. Welcome back to the 30 day art challenge with Mrs. O. For today's challenge, you will need to watch a YouTube tutorial on a new art technique. I selected a video that showed how to monoprint using plastic bags and eggshells. And you can find a condensed version of that video at the end of my demonstration, or you can find the full video on YouTube. Supplies you'll need today include some type of paper on which to print. You'll also need to create some type of border that protects the margins of the paper. Um, you can use ink. I'm using a water soluble block printing ink today. If you don't have ink at home, you could try using paint. You'll need some eggshells. Um, this works best if you have done some planning and maybe save some eggshells from breakfast or maybe you're doing some baking at home, maybe making cookies. Plastic bags, and you may want to go ahead and get those cut down. Um, you won't need a large section, just a small rectangle that will fit in the space on your paper. Also, in the video I watched, they had taken some bits of cardboard or heavier paper and ripped them into interesting shapes. And you'll see what you can do with that in just a moment. And some type of marker to work with. So as you can see, I already have my rectangle filled in on this piece of plastic. And I did that simply by placing it down on top of my paper and tracing around the margin. And I'm going to do that on the second piece as well. It doesn't have to be perfect, boys and girls. This is just a guideline to show you where you need to place the ink. Now because ink is messy, and paint is too if that's what you're using, you may want to roll up your sleeves before you start applying the ink or paint to the plastic. So I'm going to set this one to the side, bring this one down, smooth it out a little, open up the ink. I have my handy dandy icing tool from the kitchen. I'm going to use that to spread the ink throughout the rectangle. Once you have that one filled in, you can set your spatula to the side. I'm going to actually cover up my ink so it doesn't dry out and move it out of the way. I've got my paper towels back here. I'm going to take just one. Clean up this real quick. Okay, now here comes the fun part. You can take the shells and depending on how dry they are, they will um, kind of crumble up nicer. These were just opened up so they're still a little bit gooey inside. And try to crumble them into various sizes. Maybe some are bigger, some are smaller. Maybe some aren't completely detached. fun kind of arranging them over your paper. And when you're done, you can take your pieces of cardboard and position them, a few of them over top as well. I'm just going to put three on for now. Okay, and here comes the fun part. We're going to take our plastic. We need the inky side to be facing down on top of the egg and the cardboard and the paper. And you can hear it crunching when you push down. You'll need to push down on it. I'm actually going to take the bottom of the ink and push it down over top of everything. Now, because it's crunching more, that means the shells are breaking up. So if you don't want that to happen, you might want to just push down with your hands. Okay, and then we're going to lift this off. Hmm, I don't know, boys and girls. 
didn't get much on there. I'm gonna shake this off. Extra eggshells. Got a little bit, not really what I was anticipating. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And you can kind of repeat this process. So I'm gonna put these down now. On top. Put some shells back down again. Oops. Okay. Maybe put a few more shells on there since I didn't have a lot happening before. Okay, now this time I'm going to take the other one, lay it on top, and push back down again. This time I'm just going to use my fingers at first. Really make sure I go over top of everything. In the video I watched, the artist took a pencil and kind of went across as well, and that created some interesting lines on the work. So I'm going to do that too, just to kind of see what happens. Okay, I'm going to lift it off. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, boys and girls, I don't know. ended up with. Not exactly like the results in the video I watched. And one of the reasons I think that could be is that I used this water soluble ink. And in the video, I think the gentleman used a oil based ink, which I actually have here at home. So I'm going to try this entire process again with the oil-based ink to see if it works better and has different results. So, hi boys and girls! So I went through that entire process again, this time using oil-based ink instead of the water-soluble kind. And there was definitely a difference. So as you recall, this was the first attempt. Rather gushy, you don't get as much of the objects, the paper, cardboard pieces, and the eggs showing through. The second attempt with the oil-based ink, there is much more distinction between the shapes. A lot more texture uh, showed up with this, and that has a lot to do with the texture of the ink. Oil-based ink is thicker, it's stickier, it's not as gooey-gooey as the liquid-based. So if you decide to attempt this challenge or anything similar, make sure you work with a stickier oil-based ink or you could try using actual oil paints might work or a really thick acrylic paint. Um, anytime you try a new technique, you might find that it doesn't go as well as you had hoped. And that's quite all right. Art is a journey, it's a learning process. If you never try, you'll never know what to expect. And if you never work through um, trial and error, then you'll never discover anything new. So please have fun picking out a YouTube technique that you've never seen before. Try something new, work through the challenge, and at the end you might decide it's not for you. And that's okay. Have fun, boys and girls, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.